Automatic Climate Controls. This is the panel you'll use to set the climate control system. System functions will be displayed on the in-dash monitor. If your vehicle is not equipped with a navigation system, the controls may be configured differently, but the functions are similar. Please see your owner's manual for more information. The auto mode may be used all year round. To turn it on, press this button for automatic cooling or dehumidified heating. The indicator light turns on when the system is activated. It will automatically regulate and maintain fan speed, airflow, and temperature in the cabin. The auto mode can be turned off by pressing the defrost or mode buttons or by turning the fan speed control dial. To reactivate, press the auto button again. Your vehicle has separate temperature controls for the driver and the front seat passenger. This is the driver's temperature control dial on the left. If the dual button is not activated, the driver's control will set the temperature for both driver and passenger. Turn the driver's control dial right for warmer or left for cooler air. If you want to adjust the passenger side temperature independently from the driver's side, you press this button marked dual or simply turn the passenger side temperature control. The dual indicator will turn on. Turn this dial to the right for warmer air or the left for cooler air on the passenger side. The passenger side temperature will be displayed on the right of the monitor. To switch back to driver control, press the dual button again. Note, in hot or humid conditions, a visible mist may be seen coming from the vents. This does not indicate a malfunction. Press the defrost button to select front and side window defrosting. An indicator will illuminate. The AC automatically turns on when you select the defroster mode and the outside temperature is above 36 degrees. This helps dehumidify the cabin. Then turn the driver's side temperature dial to set the desired temperature to best meet conditions. If in dual mode when activating the defroster, the system will change to driver control, so both sides of the windshield will defrost evenly. For windshield de-icing, your temperature selector should be turned to maximum heat. Also, using the manual fan control, turn your fan speed to high. To defrost the rear window, push the rear window defroster switch. It will automatically turn off in about 15 minutes. You may turn it off manually at any time by pushing the switch again. If your vehicle is equipped with outside heated mirrors, this switch will also defrost them at the same time. If you want to change how the auto function has set airflow coming through the vents, press the mode button. Your airflow choices will be displayed on the monitor. Press mode repeatedly to select from these choices. Air will flow from center and side vents, from center, side and foot vents, mainly from foot vents or from the defroster and foot vents. To recirculate air inside your vehicle, press this air recirculation button. This helps AC efficiency and helps block outside odors from entering the cabin. Press this button to turn off the recirculation feature and allow fresh air from the outside to be drawn into your vehicle. When the air recirculation or fresh air intake buttons are pressed for more than two seconds, indicator lights will flash twice and the air intake will be controlled automatically. Please be aware that while in defrost modes, the air recirculation feature will not activate. Allowing outside air to enter the vehicle further improves defogging performance. The fan speed control regulates fan speed at various settings. Turn it to the left for slower speed, to the right for higher speed. Press the off button in the center of the knob to turn the system off. When you use these controls, the automatic climate control will turn off. To return to automatic climate control, press the auto button. Press the AC button to turn the air conditioning on. An indicator light will illuminate. Press again to turn off. There is a temperature sensor located on top of the dashboard near the windshield that helps regulate the automatic climate control settings. Please keep this area clear of papers and other materials.